was asking the question. Zito comes into his microphone, which goes directly into my ear, mm -hmm. mid conversation with that guy, whatever's going on, and Zito goes, Bears news. And, you know, we've talked about this publicly a lot. Zito does try to shoehorn some news. Oh, yeah. That necessarily. Trust me, I wish we could skip this. Yeah. And, and by the way, the way he said it, though, I was excited to hear because this is the first time it was a depressed Zeet popping into the brain uh, out of nowhere okay. while a man was talking down in Florida. Chicago Bears, does this mean they're officially moving? Soldier Field no more. They're going to Arlington, off the lake, what? over to Arlington. Ladies and gentlemen, we recently submitted a bid to purchase the Arlington International no! Discourse Course property. It is our obligation to explore every possible option to ensure we're doing what's best for our organization and its future. If selected, this step allows us to further evaluate the property and its potential. So Ted Phillips, Chicago Bears president and CEO, just released this statement via the Bears social media, I assume. They bought a race course property that is massive, that's a little bit outside of the city. It would be away from where Soldier Field was made. It would be away from where the legacy, the tradition, everything you've ever come to love about the Chicago Bears, their fans, their team, where Ditka once roamed and coached, is now going to be moved to another part of town. A race course that just got bought by Ted and the boys up there. And lady, who's it? Who's the owner? What was that? Virginia. Virginia. Virginia buys this thing. And the reason why they're doing it, and I hate to say it's the Chicago. Can't do it till 2033, by the way. Okay, 2023, can't do it. The reason why they're doing it, and by the way, can have that thing built up by 2023 yeah. and then make the actual change. Uh, the, the entire reason why they're doing it, it's not because of the thought of tradition and what Soldier Field has been to the NFL and no, no. right there on the lake with all that wind making kickers lives nightmares and mm -hmm. the weather and the long grass and everything we've ever seen out of Chicago and NFL films that has just been beautiful. It's not about how awesome that was and we're not spitting and pissing on the tradition. No. What we're doing, you see, is we're buying a big area where we can build a casino, a hotel, uh, an entire uh, shopping better. plaza, a nice stadium. You see that one out in Las Vegas? Hey, look how nice yeah, it is. Sweet. See that one in LA? That's what we're thinking. Yeah, we love it. And we're making a casino. We'll do this whole thing. We'll rake in, you know, hundreds of millions probably just off of this whole time. Come to Chicago Bear Don God. Land. Uh, that's what they're going to build up outside of Chicago. It's a shame. You'd, you'd hope the Bears would never do that because of how deep the tradition is. Uh, but it's just good business if you think about how it. How far away is Arlington from the current stadium? I'm going to guess like 20, 30 minutes. Oh, that's not bad, dude. Yeah. Traffic. Zito, okay. Which way is it? Which way is it from Chicago? Never eat sour. West. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here it is. Uh, <laughs> never eat sour, sour wheat. Sour wheat. Yeah, that's, how I that's a good point. That's not too bad. Cardinal directions are something that might be difficult to remember. East, right, also left, farther. west is something you can definitely mm -hmm. think of, and north is up. I'd assume everybody mm -hmm. knows that. How farther away from the lake, though, is that's going to ruin home field advantage because oh, no more no. wind and, and weather. Yeah, is is now the Windy City, oh, no. which was actually just <laughs> lake effect potentially. Yeah, because yep. Cleveland also oh, no. absolutely miserable wind wise. <laughs> is that going to change? Is Chicago going to become a kicker, punter, quarterback dream? Maybe, especially with Justin Fields out there leading the charge yeah. on this brand new casino, hotel, shopping plaza stadium thing you guys are building over there uh soldier 2.0 maybe they'll are call they that. changing Ooh. the name to the arlington park bears no no or, no i mean is, are they still gonna be is it in chicago still uh by definition oh, is this santa clara oh no oh, oh is that what this is it, it's 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 a good distance away Oh. Zito, oh. our resident Bears fan who grew up in Rose area. Cicero area. area. Yeah. Downers Grove. Da big fan of the they Bears. Downers Grove, yeah. But he doesn't know much like in-depth stuff about the Bears, but definitely life much Enough better. That I know George Hallis is mad. Bingo. Rolling over. There it is. What would Papa do? What would he do? Z Zito's just a blind, loyal Bears fan. This one seems to have potentially cut right to the heart here. Yeah. yeah. He is depressed. He mm -hmm. is sad. Whenever he heard about this, he actually said, oh, it's that stupid mayor. This Ooh. wouldn't be a headline if it wasn't for that stupid mayor keep saying things Stitch. over there in Arlington. Not Chicago, by the way. Arlington's mayor, completely oh, different city. Yeah. If you want to throw them up there, they're both. Huh? They're both stooges. Well, no, but, but you were directly saying that the Arlington mayor yeah. was trying to stir up headlines with this entire thing. Yeah. Here we are just a couple days later, like, it's the future. New mayor, yeah. new city, new team, 
new stadium. I just did the directions, and it's a, it's an hour away. Yeah. Man, oh, oh shit! No. I what do you believe twenty five thirty minutes. Yeah. Well, with traffic. traffic. Yeah. I mean, I know you got You got to take the train to get in there, and it yeah. takes a while. Well, Elon's doing that, right? Elon's making uh, the, oh, the underground, hyperloop, the yeah, mega tunnel, to get to the airport and get yeah. back to Chicago. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll just do that so the players can get uh, get to practice under 45, 50 minutes. You know what I mean? Oh, Cut a piece. Everybody's got to move over oh, there. Oh, oh man! Oh, the let's go, Bears! Bear Don! It's, uh, it's five minutes away from the original McDonald's ever made in, in Chicago. So. Ever? <laughs> big win. Yeah, not like Big Mac, the, the one in Cali, but the first one in Chicago. Oh, the first ever McDonald's? Displains, yeah, that's what next to Displains, yeah. So that's, that is what maybe the Bears are selling. Hey. You know what I mean? Maybe they're maybe they're buying that McDonald's and tearing it down to build a casino out there. Ooh. Uh, Bears fans will still ride with this. You guys will just act like this is okay and not be a big deal, you think? Well, at least we'll have parking now, I guess. That'll be a, that'll be a perk. Well, yeah. in the casino. Like, it's going to be a very nice area. When I went to Foxborough and saw Patriot Place up there, yeah. it was fucking awesome. It's nice love. I mean, the plaza with the, everything being connected. And Robert Kraft, I think, was pretty ahead of that. Uh, that whole thing like hey we can build up this area to just basically be all money leads to us yeah. people stay here they eat here they they gamble here they watch the game here they travel out of here like they start doing Jerry down there Jerry World out in Arlington Texas mm -hmm. by the way he built up that entire area they have an entire plaza across the street from that I don't know if Jerry owns it I assume he does probably I'm not 100% sure but like I think the more and more teams realize how much money can be made in the surrounding areas of the stadium you might see some more people move and is that just disrespectful to tradition or Ooh. is it just trying to keep up and evolve with everybody else I mean that is the ongoing debate and I guess we're going to find out from yeah. Bears fans over the next year or two how they feel about it well, when they're making, you know, $75 million every home game, I'm 77, sure. 77, right? 77, yeah, whatever it was. That's what Jerry was making. Yeah. And now for uh, New England, like you mentioned, there's even a train now from the city and from Providence that you can take right in there. It'll drop you off at the stadium. That's nice. That's insane that it's becoming a full experience. I wonder because places are becoming destination places. Yeah. As more and more people maybe watch at home or on their phone, they're like, hey, I want to go watch my team play. Maybe they're trying to make it more of a destination. Mm -hmm. Hey, stay here. Got a hotel for you. If you got a ticket to the game, you already got a room. You just got to add this onto it. Uh, fly out, have a good time. The internet in the stadium is going to be very, very good. Ooh. Maybe at that point, by the way, we'll be able to gamble in the stadium That'd as if nice. it's like the Kentucky Derby. I understand and respect it, but I think fans are going to hate this whole entire, the entire thing. But change always brings oh, yeah. a little bit of resistance. That's kind of the world that we live in.